Hello everyone. Now we will talk about another lesson in meteorology, all about clouds, clouds formations and associated weather. So after this topic, if uh, we can see a cloud from above, so as we go out of our houses and we can see a type of cloud, we can uh, we can say the oh that is a cumulus cloud oh that is a stratus cloud that is a zero cumulus cloud because we can know the what are those different cloud formations that is forming up up, up the sky and we once we can see this cloud we can know instantly what is the associated weather or what will happen next in our weather system if we can see this type or this formation of the clouds so what are the clouds clouds are uh, is a large collection of very tiny droplets of waters or ice crystals and these droplets are so small and light that they can float in the air in a form of aerosol uh, and all air contains water but near the ground it is usually in the form of an invisible gas called water vapor so what are the colors the, that uh, affecting the uh, appearance of the cloud because uh, we can say that uh, clouds are white okay but how or why why is it happen that clouds are white or sometimes clouds are gray or clouds are even darker than gray okay because uh, let's talk about this light physics in, uh, in accordance with this uh, study in physics that if a uh, light spectrum is uh, cast or a light is uh, striking in a uh, for example a light or a prism it will have it will scatter into different uh, strands of light in a form of different colors of the rainbow and when this uh, different colors of the rainbow called the light spectrum is uh, forms or uh, strikes another for example a say water droplet it will create another batch of light spectrum and when all of these uh, colors from the light spectrum are uh, come together it will appear as a white color but if the clouds become thicker and thicker it will have a the light spectrum or the particles inside the cloud will be uh, thicker and uh, congested and uh, it will cause the lights not to appear white but to appear in a darker color of gray so that's why clouds appears white or clouds appears as gray so we will talk about different types of clouds namely from the highest to lowest level we have the we will talk about the zero stratus clouds cirrus clouds zero cumulus cumulonimbus alto stratus alto cumulus strato cumulus cumulus clouds nimbus stratus and the lowest cloud is stratus cloud okay so first let's know the three main types of clouds so first is the cumulus clouds cumulus clouds are generally a, a low level cloud this uh, cumulus cloud is uh, easily described as a fluffy or a cotton like cloud that is suspended in the air and uh, it is it looks like soft and uh, it always uh, towering like a, a mountain of cotton balls up in the sky and it sometimes it can uh, be like a cauliflower or a brook or a top of broccoli it's a uh, formation typically these clouds are uh, detached from one another and uh, it is uh, not in groups sometimes sometimes you can see only one cumulus clouds that is hovering on top of the sky next next type of clouds is a stratus cloud or a very low level clouds that may produce light drizzle or a small amount of snow in uh, cold areas and these clouds are essentially above ground fog okay so this fog is a type also of stratus clouds 
Another type of cloud is a cirrus clouds or a high level clouds and these are short and detached hair like clouds that is found in high latitudes. The most common description of a cirrus cloud is its uh, feather like structure or feather like appearance that it will form for example like a strand of hair or a uh, brush like structure or even a feather structure so the, when you see a feather like cloud in up in the sky it is a cirrus cloud so let's start with the high level clouds namely the cirrus clouds meteorological code for cirrus clouds ci Cirrus clouds are detached clouds in the form of white delicate filaments, mostly in white patches or narrow bands. They may have some uh, fibrous or hair-like uh, appearance and in a uh, silky sheen appearance also. When you see this type of clouds, it will bring, well, we can say that we will have a very fair weather or a very good and sunny weather when you see this cirrus cloud. So, Take a look on this uh, in its appearance. You may see a very thin structured uh, clouds that is uh, almost look like a feather or a and this uh, clouds you can see some fibers that is uh, protruding from these clouds. Another variant of these cirrus clouds is you can see during sunrise or sunset the, that uh, have its uh, colors from the rising or setting sun so you can see some opalescent color of uh, some uh, violet col shades of violet colors some pink colors and some purple ones in the cirrus sky so again if you see the cirrus clouds most of the most of the days or most of the time of the day will be a fine weather next is the zero cumulus cloud so it is a variant that is uh, mixed with cirrus and cumulus cloud so what is a cumulus cloud in this in the in the picture is uh, rounded sky so or rounded cloud so we, when you see a rounded uh, structure of a cloud that is a cumulus cloud but if it is a high level cloud that is a cirrus cloud as seen in the in the picture so in the picture you can see a layered cloud that uh, that some like a uh, width of a finger okay so this is a zero cumulus cloud so it is arranged in a layer like a ripples or a small wavelets and uh, this is seen uh, usually in uh, winter that can that will indicate fair and cold weather and in the tropics they may indicate an approaching hurricane so this uh, tropics is uh, it will be in the south of uh, north america north of south america in the central and latin america and it can also seen in the northern part of Africa. Next is the cirrostratus clouds or the uh, high part of stratus. That's why it is called the cirrostratus. Meteorological code is CS. So from the stratus, uh, the main feature of a stratus cloud is having a, it's a milky veil of a cloud that is uh, having a halo effect around the sun so because the stratus is a, a very thin cloud but uh, in a form of a cirrus with a variant of a cirrus with the stratus that's why it is called this cirrus stratus cloud it may form like a milky veil around the sun and uh, during the day in uh, daytime you can uh, you can see this but sometimes in nighttime it can also encircle the moon or having the halo of the moon this is also another variant of a cirrus stratus cloud wherein you can see the appearances or the characteristic of the 
cirrus clouds and the formation of the stratus cloud as a thin layer of clouds. So usually, when you see this type of cloud, it will come before a rain or a snowstorm and it can seen in winter and indicate fair but cold weather. So that is cirrus stratus cloud, a high level cloud. Next is alto cumulus cloud. From the word alto, meaning middle level cloud, and cumulus having its appearance of uh, cotton balls up in the sky. So you can see some layers of cotton balls that is uh, distinguished as a laminae or plates, or we can see that this type or a week when you see this up in the sky, you can see some setup scales of a anteater or for example a some setup scales. Another variant of alto cumulus sky is what we call the mackerel sky that is resembled to a scale of a fish. That's why it is called a mackerel sky. Okay, so alto cumulus. From the alt, from the cumulus cloud, you can see some uh, puffy cloud-like structure that resembles a cumulus cloud, but due to its rippling pattern of scales, the, that makes it also known as the mackerel sky. It will be called as alto cumulus sky or alto cumulus clouds. Precipitation from these clouds are rare, but even if rain does fall it doesn't reach the ground. So when the precipitation from the altocumulus uh, clouds started in the middle of the atmosphere before it reaches the, the ground or the Earth's surface, it is already evaporated because it its precipitation is only a drizzle but only not so heavy of a drizzle that can reach the Earth's surface. Next is the alto stratus clouds from the word alto meaning middle level and stratus meaning a thin layer of clouds. So that's why from, from the picture you can see the sun peaking from the spaces of the clouds. So you can see some grayish or bluish uh, cloud sheets or layers of striated fibrous clouds that totally or partially covers the sky. Altostratus clouds do not produce a halo phenomenon, nor are the shadows of object objects on the ground are visible because of sometimes it can have an overcast sky or a fully covered sky roof. This is also another variant of altostratus clouds wherein these uh, clouds have the shaded uh, part and uh, but we can still see the layers of the cloud that is partially covering the sky. Altostratus clouds often form ahead of a warm or occluded front and as the front passes the altostratus layers deepens and bulks out to become nimbostratus which produce rain or snow. As a result sighting it can usually indicate a change in the weather is on the way. So when we see this alto, alto stratus clouds, we can predict that there is a uh, change in the weather. For example, that the weather will be worse. And if the weather is already worse and we see this alto stratus clouds, the weather will be, will, uh, will improve. So there is always a change in the weather when we see this type of cloud, alto stratus cloud. Next is the nimbostratus cloud from the word nimbo meaning a rain cloud and the stratus cloud meaning it's a, it is a low level cloud. Meteorological code for that is NS or nimbostratus. Nimbostratus is a result from thickening alto stratus wherein this is a dark gray cloud that is uh, diffused by falling rain or snow. It is thick enough throughout to blot out the, uh, the sun and also low rugged clouds frequently occur beneath this cloud which sometimes merges its base. 
as this nimbus stratus cloud uh, lowers it will become a uh, cumulonimbus cloud or a rain cloud but uh, i can say that this nimbus stratus we can we can predict that uh, specifically rain will come because then from the word nimbo it is a rain cloud but in this nimbus stratus rain will not come sooner but uh, it will require some for example some hours for that so that some someone can prepare if someone will uh, some someone can understand what is a nimbus stratus he can he can say oh okay in several hours it will rain but not now but in several hours so then this is a nimbus stratus cloud this is another variant of nimbus stratus cloud wherein uh, it does not uh, cover all of the sky surface and the uh, nimbus stratus cloud will often bring precipitation which may last for several hours only until the associated front passes over so it does it does not like the uh, the what we say the threatening sky that is a cumulonimbus but nimbus stratus only bring some slight rain only a slight rain even though it uh, looks gray and it looks so it looks the dark cloud okay but nimbus stratus cloud doesn't bring the violent rain only the slight rain but not a drizzle but a rain